Good morning. I'm Sergeant Richardson with the Sheriff's Office Violent Crimes Unit. Yesterday at approximately 7.45 p.m., officers responded to the 5300 block of Emerson Street in reference to an adult female who had been shot. The adult female was transported to a local hospital where she's in a critical but stable condition. The initial investigation revealed that the adult female was sitting inside of her vehicle when she was approached by two unknown individuals. Some breaking news we're following this morning. While you were sleeping, we have learned a woman is in the hospital in critical condition. This is after getting shot multiple times. Jay Still tells us this happened last night on Emerson Street. At this time, we know the victim was sitting inside of her car when two unknown suspects walked up and shot into her car. The victim was hit in her arm, leg, and back. And right now, JSO says they're looking for a black four-door sedan seen driving away from that scene. If you have any helpful information, you're urged to please give Crime Stoppers a call. Who was armed with handguns. The unknown individuals are the suspects fired multiple shots into the victim's vehicle, striking in the arm, leg, and back. The suspects then fled the area in a black four-door sedan. You aren't aware, a gun switch, it's a small device attached to a pistol, making it fully automatic. News for Jacks reporter John Acebus got new details from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office about how often officers are finding these devices. Let's look at what a Glock switch can do. I found this video on YouTube. But with just a small plastic piece, that's what a Glock switch can do to a Glock. And these are being found time and time again here in Jacksonville. Now, man, oh man, YouTube family, just when we thought the bodies was done dropping in Jacksonville. Just when we thought that Brick Baby and Young and Ace was taking the smoke, the steam off of the heat in Jacksonville, it's unfortunate that I gotta bring you this bad news. Now, it's looking like two girls were targeted to be assassinated in Jacksonville. Now, Jacksonville is on fire right now. It's like a war zone out there, but we're not gonna act as if though the Julio Fulio and Young and Ace beef it's the only thing scorching in Jacksonville, Florida. But in the last video that I did when I covered this, Young and Ace had just dropped his music video for his song, Ready to Die. Cover press new, tell me if it's up. Nigga ain't falling for none of these hoes, these hoes can't set me up. Moving and in that song, he had strong indicators that Julio Fulio went out because a female had to drop on him. Now here it is today. Bodies in Jacksonville are still being riddled with 7.62 bullets. This is the second assassination attempt on females' lives in Jacksonville, Florida in the past two weeks. The first of which was a Caucasian woman who got dropped literally the morning of Julio Fulio's funeral. And today, as y'all just heard Sheriff say in Jacksonville, Florida, two women were the victims of an alleged assassination attempt. Those who was armed with handguns, the unknown individuals are the suspects fired multiple shots into the victim's vehicle, striking in the arm, leg, and back. The suspects then fled the area in a black four-door sedan. Now, fortunately, Guy was on their side, and it's not looking like it's going to be life-threatening. So, you can rest assured that these females are going to describe the assailants to the best that they can. So, y'all better have wore a shiesty mask when you did it. Now, in the last video that I made, as I stated previously, Young and Ace was hinting toward female being the reason why Julio Fulio ceased to exist today. In the video, there were about a group of six to eight different girls all shaking their junior bacon and their junior with onions and all wearing bandanas around their face. I'm assuming that this would be to conceal their identities. And while it may be true that Young and Ace is well off, I'm pretty sure that these females don't got $29 in their bank accounts combined. So if I was them, I'd be wearing a mask too, no cap. Now, we're not for 100% sure if these two targeted victims had anything to do with setting up Julio Fulio. But what we do know is that Emerson Street is in Julio Fulio's hood. And last year in January, on this very same street, a man was killed and a woman was shot. And it was all linked to the war in Jacksonville. King News, police are looking for someone who shot and killed a man and injured a woman on Emerson Street in Jacksonville. Investigators are calling it a targeted attack. This happened at a business on Emerson Street near the intersection of St. Augustine Road. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell has been there all day. And we know family showed up at the scene. 
Yeah, it's been really emotional out here. People have been racked with grief. One woman had to be restrained. She was screaming, saying she wanted to see her son. And much of the street here is still blocked off more than six hours later. There's an SUV down there with bullet holes in it. There's several evidence markers you can see. Last we heard from JSO around one o'clock this afternoon, they said they believe one or two shooters was responsible for this um, and nobody was yet in custody. A shooting Thursday morning that police say was targeted left a man in his early 30s dead and a woman in her mid-20s hospitalized. I don't know which one of the ones was the target, but the individuals came here looking for one or one or both. Multiple businesses were locked down during the investigation, which appeared to focus on window tinting company L&L Tinting. It was outside of business and then inside of business. This SUV seen from Sky 4 appeared to have been hit multiple times. JSO says more than one parked car was hit, but it's not clear if anyone was inside them at the time. Is gunfire exchanged? I, I, that I cannot tell you. I have, we have multiple shell casings, but I cannot tell you if gunfire was exchanged. Lieutenant Mike Silcox with the JSO Homicide Unit said the shooting wasn't a drive-by or random, but he didn't want to speculate on a motive. Detectives are currently looking for surveillance video in the area and trying to find any witnesses. No word yet on how that young... You would think there would be an APB put out there in the city of Jacksonville, Florida. Especially now, the Jacksonville sheriffs are saying that they are finding buttons on just about every person that they pull over. Switches are something being found more and more often on our streets. And if you aren't aware, a gun switch, it's a small device attached to a pistol, making it fully automatic. News for Jacks reporter John Acebus got new details from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office about how often officers are finding these devices. Let's look at what a Glock switch can do. I found this video on YouTube. Again, that is a Glock, and unless they're specifically designed for the military, Glocks are semi-automatic weapons. They are not supposed to shoot automatically, but with just a small plastic piece, that's what a Glock switch can do to a Glock. And these are being found time and time again here in Jacksonville, and it's not just a Jacksonville problem. These are being found all over Florida. There's a scorching hot war going on. Keep your ass up out of Dodge. So this leads me to believe that these young girls couldn't have been innocent. Not that they deserve to be assassinated, but if two masked assailants walk up and start dumping in your car with endeavors of killing you, then I'm Come sure it was not up. an accident. Nigga, and being that you two were clearly females, Move I'm sure that the intended targets were two. I mean, think about it, you two family. The morning of Julio Fulio's funeral, they dropped a white female in Jacksonville, Florida. Here it is today, two other females sitting in a car, park, minding their business, putting no eyeliner, fluffing their eyelashes, looking into the mirror, and just talking girly stuff, when all of a sudden, they can hear the fast-paced footsteps of two pair of black Air Force Ones shuffling toward their window. And just as they looked up to see what the commotion was about, G23 with a switch. Yeah, them young beat up black Air Force One dirty dreadlock assailants had 3D printed buttons on the back of their Glocks and they hit them females with that. Now, in the last video, I told them girls, I literally had a message for the females in the last three videos that I did. And that message was, stay the hell up out of Dodge. Now, here it is today. Two chickens just get fried in the whip. So I guess it's safe to say that even the new age females treat life like it's a video game. There ain't no way, it, listen man, ain't no way if I was a young lady growing up at this time, back when it that, and I just heard that a white girl got flipped like a Krabby Patty, and it's alleged that it has something to sit up there and do with the dude. I mean, he's shaking my junior bacon, ate a junior with onions. Say, hey, man. Next time somebody see me, boy, I, I'll be in Albuquerque. Like Bugs Bunny. I done made a wrong turn in New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, I'm getting the hell up out of Florida. Damn Disneyland, damn Universal Studios, damn them gold teeth. I would have moved to Texas and started my life over as a Texas Ranger, but that's just me. That's not the reality that these girls are living that are willing to put their life on the line all for 15 seconds of fame. All to say that you was gargling the meat of a rapper. Now, ain't no way, boy. Fathers, this is why we gotta be in our daughter's lives right here, bro. It done got worse than them just running off and getting pregnant. It done got worse than just that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, these females riding around with Glocks with buttons on them. Talking about fully buttons on them. Yeah, all those sweet and loving tender days are over. Females is just as rough as guys. They be calling each other gang and all that. Oh, I don't know you two family. Just rest assured. And I'm gonna go ahead and get down to the bottom of it. Two females just got hit with buttons. 
in Jacksonville, Florida. And now damn near think it's just safe to say. And Charleston said, yeah, 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 no, no, no. They probably still slide for Fulio. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, they still slack. I don't know you two, family. I just know if I was one of them girls that was in that Ready to Die video, bro, and I just heard the news about these two females right here getting whistled down, say, man, I'd be on the first flight to Saturn. Oh, but I guess it is safe to say that Jacksonville, Florida, uh, yeah, y'all ain't got to worry about me coming down in no time soon. And it seems like it's hot down there right now. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I'm not coming down there. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pray for y'all, man. Ho hopefully y'all, everything, y'all can get it together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got the highest female homicide rate in the country. And I know y'all ain't sparing niggas. So I don't know you two, family. Two females that get fanned down while I was sitting in their car. On Emerson Street in Julio Fulio's hood in Jacksonville, Florida. It's safe to say that the block is hot. Better be smooth when you move, man. But uh, anyways, YouTube family, we're going to sit up there and stay down until we come up together at this point. That's just a loud man that does uh, shit. Hey, hey, I'm gone. YouTube family. I'ma need y'all to tap in with my girl here by Honey Man. She is CEO, loctician, beautician, all around miracle worker out of Spokane, Washington. But if that bag is right, she will fly to you. Now I'm telling y'all, I done seen her turn some solid tools into dimes. Some solid tools into dimes. Some weight at the back of the line, so you ain't gotta wait in line. Said, man, if you need your retwist, if you need your edges laid, if you don't wanna go outside looking play, man, because I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, I seen y'all out there last weekend and you was looking a little crusty. And she do kids here too. And I seen some of y'all kids pictures, man. And, hey, man, on picture day, they here was nappy. So if y'all didn't have nobody to do it, I'm telling y'all, putting y'all down right now. Hair by honey, your booking done right now. You can't let your appearance be the interference. Don't let your appearance be the interference, I'm telling you. Don't try to lay your edges yourself. It ain't going to work. Hair by honey, she is a professional. She does this for a living. Get your booking right now. It might be a line, but for the right dime, you might be able to jump the line. YouTube family, I'm going to need y'all to tap in with my boy Mimosa, man, and mobbing with Mimosa and his podcast. Look, if you're in the greater Northwest area and you're trying to get exposure, man, and you know you deserve that spotlight and your music really hidden, mobbing with Mimosa is the place to go. I'm telling y'all, man, he running the multimedia blog site and he'll pull up for the interview. He's been seen on camera with Big Sad 1900 collaborator Lil Booth out in Tacoma. In that interview with Ye Ye, he did an interview with XD Stacks, FTFKT, and man, he even got me and BBDL on the interview, man. Listen, if you're in the greater Northwest area and you want some exposure, I'm telling you, Vancouver, Tequila, Tacoma, Seattle, Kennewick, Royal Orange, Renton, Belltown, tap in with Mobby with Mimosa, man. He on the rise. I'm letting y'all know, man, he one of my guys. I'm putting a stamp on it. Look out for my with Mimosa podcast and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Listen, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Don't inbox me any more links. If you're in the greater Northwest area and you rap and you make music, I don't want to see no more links. Don't inbox me any more links. I need to see you on Mobbing with Mimosa podcast. Then I'll pay attention. YouTube family, I'm going to need y'all to check out my boy Arian, man, coming out of California. He a streamer, he's a YouTuber, and he's an artist. Let's just say he's multi-talented. I mean, hey, the boy could be the next Kaisenet. Twitch, holla at my boy, send him a bag. To everybody that be on Twitch, even Discord. Man, y'all need to holla at my boy Arian, man. This the wave of the future. Live streamers are creating a new millionaires, and I got faith in my boy Ari Young. I mean, he was smart enough to get the promo. Y'all make sure y'all tap into his show, Stay Cloudy. Subscribe to him on Twitch, Ari Young. Man, look, he gaming, he doing music, he live streaming, blunt rolling contest, Mario Kart, you name it. Like I told y'all, this the wave of the future, man. Now let's jump into the video y'all been waiting for. Yeah. I'm pippin' like I'm done one. I'ma stop at the store, sell me an onion. Go and get some backwoods in the back of Funyun. Let a nigga play me sweet and he gon' meet the honey bun. I ain't ride with it unless he got a hundred round drum. Hit that nigga with the drink, he gon' butt up out, I'm bum.